Hey, hello and welcome back to Alex Go Sailing. We are ready for the first sail of the season. A bit late in the season, but that's a bit of a project right there. And we're gonna launch for the first time. I missed this morning's tide, so I've been chilling out in the boat, sorting things out. But now we're gonna try and use this slip here. I'm actually gonna, because it's the first time I've used it on this trailer, first time launching it, anything like that. What I'm gonna do is gonna back the trailer down, down into that lower spot. Kind of goes down at 10 degrees and then levels more off at five degrees. That slipway for reference is at five degrees. So I'm gonna get right down there before the water touches. Um, I can get everything prepared then, fenders on, lines, and then I can just watch the water come up on uh, a mark on the post where the water line needs to be for the trailer to float off um, because that'd be important reference for other places, other marinas. And the other thing that I've picked up is around the side of Brutus. This, this is an extendo bar and uh, you basically bolt it together, hitch and uh, yeah, it basically extends that. You've got to have the jockey wheel down. That is the downside. Um, so it's only really for, you meant to line up at the top of the slip pretty much. Um, release the trailer, which is a bit sketchy, um, especially if you have rubbish brakes. Uh, and I just adjusted these brakes, so I don't trust them fully yet. Um, but I'm gonna throw the hit thing on. I'm also gonna attach like a, a bit of rope, just like a backup. I'm also gonna chock the wheels. Um, shouldn't be a problem anyway, but then we're going to hitch this up um, for recovery because I'll back down there, unhitch it, and then I'll rehitch it further away because you don't want a Land Rover going in the sea because there'll be nothing left of it because they rust like nobody's business. Apart from that, all straps are off. Uh, I do need to tension the rig a bit more. It's not the most tensioned. Uh, all the split pins need to go in. Also, I'm going to throw up that head sail because I haven't done that yet. I've been taking my uh, sweet time. We've still got about two hours before I actually start floating at all. So I've got plenty of time. Um, even pumped up the dinghy, got it sat there ready to go. Um, the one annoying thing about this slipway, every slipway has their own annoying little bits. Um, but on this one, it's these two um, pilings, I guess you could say. They. Uh, yeah, it's a bit annoying. It's easy to dock up against something flat and place fenders, but when you're trying to maneuver around uh, those pilings, it can be a bit tricky. Yeah, let's get back to uh, rigging her up. On the back of the boat, we've got a new outboard right on there. We've got to be careful when we uh, launch and recover not to start with it there. So what I'd probably do is raise it up and put it in a safe position, just so I don't absolutely annihilate it. Um, Oh, let's push that a bit that way. Make sure it's not getting snagged. Look how fancy that is. So hopefully that starts first time. Um, I did tension this rig up. Still a little loose. Um, we haven't done either the side stays, which kind of pulls it backwards as well. So we're gonna trim that up. Also fitted these solar panels. Uh, similar design to my last lot, but you should see me fitting them on the water um, at East Head, because uh, I need to show you the process, with all the glands and the, and the whatnot from Scanstrut, who kindly sent me over some of their deck seals, which have been very handy. I'm gonna to get to work, so you're gonna see some more time lapses.
So I backed the boat down now, as you can see. Got Brutus waiting there. I did pull him a little bit further forward, just so that he definitely doesn't get wet. Um, but as you can see, water is slowly coming in. Can still get out and walk around back there, which is good. Got lines run. I've also popped out that armor. Uh, this one I want to, but it can't all the way, so I'm gonna get it almost there. Because I thought if I put them out now, it's a bit easier. Um, and it's easier to place fenders because I can use the poles, which I'm about to go put in. Um, so fingers crossed. Apart from that, still need to put the sail up at the front, but I might do that at anchor. Uh, Gonna tune the rig just after I tie the boat up and wait for the, the tide to come in because it's barely touching in a minute. So we've got a little while longer, maybe another hour if I'm guessing. I also need to prepare my Rain Marine and electronics and make sure those are working and on because I'll definitely need it coming out of here because it's a narrow little channel and I don't want to be straying too far from it as it will be quite shallow when I leave. Right, so I'm gonna get cracking with the jobs to do. trailer out as you can see look at that it looks lovely but just worked out a treat um, what I'm gonna do now is pull the trailer up a bit more um, unhitch this situation hitch it up properly um, I'm also gonna use the hose here to wash it all out try and get all the brakes nice and fresh because um, I don't want it getting too salty and rusty um, try and look after it a bit, go park it up, park up Brutus and then head on out to the uh, Anchorage at East Head. Right, I've ditched the trailer, parked up Brutus over there and there is Mingale, looking fast. Sun setting. So let's go get this outboard started. I'm gonna try and leave it running for a little bit just because I don't want to be on the rocks for on the mud if it goes put for the first time. Um, shouldn't really do because it's basically a brand new outboard. Um, is there any one way to find out? Right, we're good to go. Got our ball started. Till it is down. And I'm just checking that I can actually steer the boat because we have changed all the steering system. There's fuel tanks in there. Make sure there's nothing gets stagged. Take off the uh, sock as well. And should be good to go. So I'm gonna go untie the mooring lines. Um, there's no wind at all. Bit of current pushing that way might help us. But I do have to do it really quick because these pilings are annoying. But hopefully it goes well. Let's just do nothing. She's going where I want her to go. I'll set up a tracker just because I want to track it. Track the track. Boat is doing as it's told. Nothing. The center board is up at the minute as well. Um, so I've got a Think of that because it's it won't handle as well, won't turn as sharply, things like that. Oh, try and get around this boy. An idle. I kind of want more speed because it gives you like more traction in the water, but only go as fast as you want to hit something, all right? All right, our depth is 1.6. I don't know where it's calibrated to because I haven't even set it up yet. I'm waiting for something to go wrong here. 
just redid a lot of stuff in this boat. I did just have the forward bung of that redundant, uh, that redundant depth transducer thing with the bung in it. That was actually loose, so I didn't tighten it all the way and some water was trickling in. I did hear a noise, I was like, ah, what's that? And saw it. Luckily, tightened it up and we haven't got a problem there. And also, it'd be interesting to see how fast we can go with a new outboard. Um, so that'd be something to try out. Would you look at this, sun setting. We're zooming along past a club. I'm hands free at the minute. The outboard is ripping. Um, it's still kind of in breaking. I don't really know how many hours are on it, but it's in breaking. And it's a lot quieter than the last outboard, which I'm really happy about. Uh, but we're doing about six knots, and that's what the other outboard would do at wide open throttle. And I don't know what I'm at now in throttle wise, but it's not much. And we're zooming, so onwards to East Head. And we are all anchored up. Now look at this mess in here. Absolute chaos. But I'm gonna cook some dinner up while the dinner's cooking. I'm gonna do a bit of tidying, organizing, cause I mean, we've got food in bags and things that aren't where things are meant to be. Sails that should be up the front there. Um, tools that are out. Two tiller pilots because, well, one is definitely enough, especially because we got the 2000, which I uh, got from Rain Rain themselves that they sponsored. And then this ST1000 that actually came with this boat. Right, let's dive in this fridge. Get what we need to get. So, one of those. One of those. Nice and easy for a first night at anchor. Ham and cheese tortellini. And cooks in no time. All you do is throw it in, throw in the sauce. Lovely, nice and hot, easy. One pan to clean up. So definitely a meal of choice if you do fancy it. Yeah, especially say you did a long day of sailing and then you get back in and you just want to eat. Nice and easy and simple, so. I've got to go turn the gas on because I turn the gas on and off every single time I want to use the cooktop because, well, I don't trust gas so I wouldn't just leave it on. Let's get to some cooking. what you call a quick dinner. So, cooked in about five, 10 minutes, and got a bit of cheese, whack a bit of cheese on it, lovely. Right, that's it for this episode. It's so nice to get back on the water after doing so much work to Mingley, but it was definitely worth it. Join me in the next one where I get some crew on board for the shakedown sail with the new spinnaker and screecher, and I also fit the solar panels with my 3D printed mounts. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.